to have this opportunity to make a presentation. And after listening to Professor Abraham's uh, talk, and uh, I'm made a believer. Uh, I have long believed that a happy place is most productive place. And I remember somebody saying that uh, when you're enjoying what you're doing, you're very close to success. And I truly believe, based on even the financial statistics, Looking at the chart between a hundred dollar invested uh, in 1990 to 20 years later, the difference, and also that gave me a, a investment guide, looking for happy companies to invest. I here to hate to share, shift the gear. I'm going to take us back more technical ground and talk about the talent supplies environment in our region, in Asia Pacific, most typically uh, in China and India. And these are the two places, two countries, the talent environment are strikingly similar. A few years ago, uh, when I was being interviewed in India by a, a journalist, I remember from e Economic Times, or and uh, she asked me about talent environment in China. And I was the first time to India, and I was excited. I talked about China's talent environment, this and that, and, and talked 10 minutes into it. And she finally said, well, that's a nice description of India. Tell us something specific about China. And uh, I thought, Jesus, there's no need. China and India, in terms of talent environment, are identical. The subject is very important because we're lucky. We're lucky in the field of human resources now in this region. And uh, the, the, uh, the, intro the introduction talked about I was educated and certified as a rocket scientist, but I've become a, a human resource specialist. And I feel happy about it because this is critical. At this juncture, the world economy, the change, the incremental gains are led by Asia Pacific region countries, are led by this emerging uh, region. And one of the most challenging issues has been around this region is about talent, talent supplies. And uh, so that's why. I feel lucky that uh, even after a great detour for many years, it came to work on core issues for the world, for the region. And I know our company is a small, very regional company, uh, mostly started out in China. So I'm to just give everybody a, a short, very brief introduction of ourselves, and then we'll get on to the talent environment. We are formed 18 years ago. And uh, that's typical of China. The four founders were college graduate, find themselves hard to find work. So they find work agency and helping others. Now the company, after 18 years, grew into a, a company with more than 1,000 consultant recruiters helping companies <coughs> helping clients to recruit. And uh, last year, we placed tw over 20,000 professional and management, senior management positions for clients. So that translated into about 76 positions per day and nine positions per hour. And uh, we also follow the principle of go tell our clients footstep. In China, there's a big slogan, and it is heavily practiced, is going global. And we began to follow our clients going global. We started out from our neighbors uh, in India, Southeast Asia, in these emerged countries with similar uh, talent treat like where we, are, we come from. So we 
won't feel too alien. We feel very comfortable coming into this talent environment and working in this environment. 